Yes, this is office. This one. Yes, yes, yes. You caught me on YouTube. So I'm how, very busy. How are story. you, Gary? I'm watching this homeless kid. Amazing. Homeless. Homeless Korean kid. Just amazing. Uh, it's very touching. I was actually gonna cry. But now I'm not. <laughs> but that's what you do. You find talent. There's so much out there, and uh, it's just a, a pity we don't sometimes celebrate it. But uh, that's what you're doing a little bit, coming out and finding people and stuff. We have, we have a lot of talent in Zimbabwe. So when is the next one-on-one -on -one coming back? Like, when are, you, when, when are you doing your next big show? You know, I, I kind of feel like so many Zimbabweans right now are trying to break out of that invisible ceiling, that, that thing that kind of keeps you confined. I'd love to bring it back. Uh, the whole economic environment has imploded and the, and the changing game of people are not watching TV quite the way they were and that sort of thing. So we've got to get creative. And so, McConey, this is kind of where we're at. So I'm looking at some strategies to take people, the show, um, or other shows. But um, I, I, I want to get back to the core of why am I doing it? What am I about? That's why I was searching the story out. And, you know, um, I, I listened to Zim opera singers the other day. And right. one of them came to my house. They're amazing. From Chiringuiza. My mother's a concert pianist. We've had the Bolshoi Ballet and the Russian Orchestra at my house. And here's my mom playing piano for these th one lady. And it was amazing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go back. But I want to first look on the inside. Why am I doing it? Not just right. the money. Right. And then the other stuff maybe will follow. But technology could be the new connector to people. Do you think Zimbabweans are watching enough television though? And if they are not, why not? They're not watching ZTV. We've why? lost it. Well, we politicized it. We, we lost our core. We've become very polarized as a society. Right. And we've never really dealt with that. So like in my talk shows, I wanted to celebrate success. Now I feel we almost have to go to the past solve some issues back there before we go forward. So the next generation, the young guys like yourself, are ready to go out and do stuff. I'm ready to go out and interview guerrillas and Rhodesian soldiers and freedom fighters right. and terrorists. And mm -hmm. before this generation, the Mugabe generation dies and all the gray heads are gone, we're left with the farm invasions that haven't been resolved. We're left with um, racial issues that are not resolved. We're left with uh, value issues that are not resolved. And we think that our society is going to suddenly come alive. And it's not because we've lost value to one another. Right. So I think I'd like to go back a step or two to help us go forward. Because there's some clues in that history, but we don't want to stay there. Right. So yeah, so, I'm kind of ready to do it, but it's harder. Straight into the camera, inspire our viewers. You know, dreams, like I've said so many times, take a detour. This weekend, one of my dreams died, but I watched a 16-year-old golfer beat me and shoot a 69, and he could be the next champion. It's not me, so maybe sometimes I've got to come back to that old credo that for you to win, I don't have to lose. In fact, it's not a win-lose thing. It's go and win, go and be successful. It doesn't affect who I am, because I've got to look on the inside and find out what I can do. So what do you do when a broken dream hits, in my case, the fairways? Well, you still have got energy. You've still got some other dreams. And maybe you sometimes have to put some things on the shelf. Maybe let that relationship go. That boyfriend's not working out. That thing is not happening. That boss is oppressive. Let it go. But then you've got to look forward. And you've got to have a new new. Uh, you've got to have a new you. You've got to have a new normal. Uh, we've heard that from TPI in the teachings. You've got to replace that vacuum with something else. So I'm looking forward, as we are right now, I'm writing out on this blank page dreams of literally as you came literally, in. Yeah. How do you bring back? How do you do it? But it oftentimes in closing seems that your destiny is with someone else. I want to encourage you. Your destiny, your dreams are tied into one thing and it's your decision. Make a decision today. Be empowered today. It's not someone else. It's you. Celebrate someone else's success. Even if their success means to a degree you failed, it's okay. Start again. Be fresh. Don't just watch TV. Create TV in your own life. I'm Gary Thompson, and you're watching Mukozi today. Whoa.